What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is The Full Measure and recently I've been putting together a list of videos with all of the favorite weapons that I'm currently using in this season of Destiny, whether it is me doing PvE and PvP content. These are all weapons that deserve to be in your arsenal and they're really good in this season as well as probably down the road. Now today we're looking at the Amit AR2 auto rifle, which is a solo auto rifle that is craftable, which means once you have the pattern unlocked, you can create your own version of a PvE or PvP monster. I really enjoy this, specifically auto rifles and pulse rifles are my two favorite kinds of weapons in Destiny 2. And once I was able to start using this, I pretty much run this almost exclusively in that slot due to the fact that this is so ridiculously good at trash clear. Now, recently with a bunch of the weapons that I've been bringing to the channel, a lot of them have excelled at this. A lot of them have been really, really good at clearing out low level enemies very fast. But this one might just be the sexiest at it. Now, when we look at the base stats here, it has a fairly standard, I would say, impact profile for this type of weapon and then its range stability and handling are also fairly good when we are trying to build two different archetypes of this weapon we absolutely want to be accentuating the range as much as we can so that we can increase the distance at which we can actually engage enemies whether they are pve or pvp enemies and we absolutely also want to be doing whatever we can to just increase the accuracy that we can achieve with sustained fire with this weapon while adding on any kind of like little effects, anything additional that we can get on there that gives us a little bit more damage. Now diving straight into the PvP side of things, we absolutely want to be picking up corkscrew rifling as our barrel. This gives us a nice little increase to stability range and handling and is overall one of the better barrels that you can pick for this weapon regardless of the activity that you're doing. Then when we get over to the magazine itself, again, for me, one of the most important stats when it comes to weapons like pulse rifles, weapons like, you know, auto rifles, is that I want to have decent range i want to feel like i can engage enemies from further away and certainly in today's meta where oftentimes you find yourself coming across people that are running pulse rifles or they're running scouts giving yourself an equal amount or close to equal amount of range to engage these enemies at means that you're not at a disadvantage when the fight pops off and you start shooting at each other bearing all of that in mind we want to be taking ricochet rounds here because this gives us an increase to range while also still increasing our stability by a fair amount as well now for our trait one and trait two dynamic sway reduction in trait one is super super good because this means that as you are in a firefight and you're holding down your trigger and you're shooting and you are engaging enemies you are actually getting an increase to accuracy and an increase to stability the longer you hold down the trigger this is super important for situations where you might go into a two versus one or a three versus one and you want to be damaging as many of these enemies as possible while you're ripping each guy down in turn so coupling that with adrenaline junkie in our second trait works really well here because what that does is it increases your damage and your handling on the weapon when you have final blows with this weapon or with a grenade so don't be scared to mix grenades into it here if you are running into a situation maybe there's a bunch of guys sitting on a flag waiting to actually capture it you can lead off with a grenade and possibly score a kill with a grenade there which means that as you then swap into this weapon or start shooting with this weapon you're going to get the increased damage and then if you're able to actually drop another enemy you're just going to keep on carrying on with that all the way benefiting from the fact that you have dynamic sway reduction which is actually improving this ability and making you you know way more accurate as you drag your fire across enemies but you're also just in general increasing the damage profile of the weapon now omelon flu dynamics as a origin trait here says that the weapon has better reload speed and stability for the top half of the magazine so if you're a compulsive reloader i definitely am one of those people that even if i shoot out a couple of bullets off the top of the mag then and and i'm not exactly an encounter or i'm busy transitioning onto another fight or something like that i just compulsively reload then absolutely omelon fluid dynamics will benefit you here because it will give you a faster reload based on the fact that you're on the top half of the magazine magazine then going on to the masterwork here again 
for me, I, I said it at the beginning of this, but I absolutely want to be getting my range as far out as possible. And so masterwork range here is an absolute necessity. Although you couldn't go wrong with favoring stability as well. So if you're one of the people that favor stability over range, that's absolutely 100% fine. And that would be okay in this case as well. Last but not least, when we get to our weapon mod here, we slap in a counterbalance stock here. What that does is it improves the, or rather reduces the recoil deviation. In other words, the bounce, the, the way that the gun controls while you're shooting. Now, generally speaking, you want your bounce intensity to be in, in multiples of five. So this actually produces, uh, or this actually reduces it all the way from 29 to 14, which is not exactly a multiple of five, but nonetheless, this does essentially chop that bounce intensity in half almost, I would say. This in combination with the additional effect that you're getting from dynamic sway reduction should really help you in landing your shots and being able to control the weapon better. However, I will say this, and that is that this is by far not one of the more difficult auto rifles to handle, especially when you're shooting on full tilt. So just spending a couple of hours with this weapon, if this is your auto rifle of choice in PvP, you will start to learn the weapon very well, and it really shouldn't be a problem. Then moving over to PVE and honestly where this auto rifle truly, truly shines. We're going to start off with exactly the same barrel and exactly the same magazine as we had on the PVP side. Simply due to the fact that the corkscrew rifling gives us decent stability range and handling increase. And our ricochet rounds further on increases our range and stability even more. Now those two together gives us the most stable platform to shoot this gun from. As well at the same time getting much needed range so that we can start outside danger and start you know, engaging our enemies. Now trait 1 and trait 2 work so well together on this weapon. And the, the basic fact is that this, this weapon shreds shreds through trash especially once you start getting a couple of them you know dying now this is due to the fact that stats for all in your first trade basically works that when you hit three enemies within the same the same mag then you are getting increased weapon handling stability reload and range for a moderate duration now this works very well alongside something like incandescent which is in our secondary trade shot because as we know incandescent spreads this scorch to enemies around one that you've killed now the when the scorch activates on a bunch of enemies around your primary target that just died that actually procs stats for all so in this case where usually you would have to spray across a group of enemies to activate stats for all what you can actually do here is if you've got like four or five enemies standing around is you can just focus on the dude in the middle kill him when he explodes and the incandescent procs and spreads this fire then it procs your stats for all as well so this is a example of two traits working very well synergistically together and it is a perfect setup for this nonetheless you can absolutely also use something like adrenaline junkie in your secondary trait if you're tired of incandescent or you have incandescent on like 15 gajillion other weapons and you want to try something different adrenaline junkie works very well here and can synergize very well with a build that throws a lot of grenades because you're going to get a lot of additional damage out of that then moving over to our trait, Omolon Fluid Dynamics basically says that your top half of your magazine will let you reload faster and actually give you some stability increase as well. If you're a compulsive reloader like me, you reload after every single kill as long as there's not something else to shoot at, then this, this trait over time will actually benefit you quite a bit. Same reason why we took the range masterwork in PvP, we also take it here. By taking all of these upgrades to range, we bring this weapon's range to within like the 80 out of 100 sort of area. And that just means that this weapon is extremely lethal at almost all ranges. And if you're someone that's used to fighting with a pulse rifle or a scout, this will still feel really, really good for you at those pulse rifle and scout ranges. Last but not least, since this is our trash mobbing weapon, this is what we use to carve our way through all the low tier enemies while we are fighting towards a boss or, you know, something like that. We absolutely want to be taking minor spec, that almost 8% increased damage to all of these minor enemies. Coupled with the fact that you're getting all of this additional damage from incandescent means that you are going to be ripping your way through this. Now, absolutely, the enhanced version of incandescent will make this weapon shine even more. So if you only have enough upgrade materials for one of the two traits and you want to pick between stats for all or incandescent, 
absolutely put the enhanced perk and incandescent and you're never gonna look back on screen right now are both configurations pve and pvp so you can easily screenshot it and you don't have to replay the video all the time and that's gonna be it for the video thank you so much for watching especially if you made it this far let me know if you enjoy using the amet ar2 as much as i do which let me tell you is fucking impossible because i enjoy using this thing a lot let me know how you would set yours up differently or if you have another weapon which you would like me to showcase in a similar way as i've done for this as well as the previous ones in there other than that it's just super important to me that you have a fantastic morning afternoon and evening wherever you are in the world and until next video, fucking cheers. They want the best of me now, best of me now, best of me now, best of me. They want the best of me now, best of me now, best of me now, best of me. They want the best of me.